Hey there, Aquarius. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a general message for Aqua or anybody that was drawn here. Take what fits, leave what doesn't. If none of this hits home, just try a different message or a different reader. I won't be offended. I am fully aware that I am different. <laughs> I'm going to start with the moon deck. We're going to pull three, four overall cards. See where the energy's at. Perfect. Thank you. Ah, that card's been coming out. But not with this one. Okay. Any? Well, yeah, let's do this first. 27, which is a nine. Uh, movement awakens my creative spirit. And master number 33, I meet resistance with kindness. I feel like you're working on yourself to become more comfortable with something. Maybe yourself, maybe your soul, maybe your past, maybe all of it, right? But that's what I'm getting right off rip. Sometimes you have to allow yourself to feel the pain so that it can fade away, right? Right? It's like when you need to just cry and get something out, let yourself cry. Don't hold back the tears. That stuff festers and ruins your nervous system, which is connected to your everything. Okay. Ah, oh, 43. I choose, I'm sorry, which is a seven, overcoming obstacles. I unleash my wildness and choose to be free. You are choosing to be more comfortable with something so that you can fully accept it. It's you. It's your soul. It's your path. It's your purpose. It's your reason. <laughs> it's you. I'm hearing it's always been you. It's always been about your happiness. I'm sure it's really annoying hearing those readings where they're like, all you have to do is be you. That's the whole thing. Just be you. Okay, but what happens when you don't fully know who you are, what you're here for? Like, how am I supposed to be me and living in my my stuff if I don't know where my stuff's at? <laughs> where do I go? Ugh. But here you are, sitting, taking time, being with yourself, trying new things, not taking the first epic fail as a complete loss. You know, you take two L's and you line them up just right and it looks like a, it looks like a win to me. <laughs> you know? You're being creative about this. You're being, mm, you know what it is. There's a lot of things that you're recognizing. You do not have to take that personal. You do not have to take that personally. This is the Naked Heart Tarot. I'm just going to do a free for all. Let the cards come out how they, how they want to come out for Aquarius. The happily ever after card. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> and the fact that it's the first card out of the deck says a lot. This is your energy right now is the 10 of cups. You are fucking past cloud nine. You're on cloud 10. Okay. This ability to be creative. Like you are the twist in life. You are the plot, you know, um, and you're having fun. It's like when you realize that you're the author of your story and you want to shake things up a little bit. You want to. You are the plot twist. Because you're choosing to be. And the more and more you choose it, <laughs> the more and more it's justified. This was the right decision, right? is and always will be the right decision.
this is crazy because I feel like it's a whole story here. You know, you've got this woman that's a curvy woman and she's, um, she's challenging herself right now to, to be comfortable in her own skin and accept her body and accept her curves and learn to love them and not hide beneath all the fabrics and the clothing, but to just be yourself. And it can be very difficult, but you're meeting that resistance, that that want to cover back up and, and hide. And you're meeting that with kindness. You're being gentle with yourself. You're recognizing that this is a bit uncomfortable, but I can coach myself through this. I can have the faith in me. And I feel like you're not the only one, but what, what I'm seeing here is the fact that this is a single choice that you are making for you, about you, to help you. And it's just, it's, it's so beautiful. I'm for real about to cry. And then you have this un unleash my wildness and choose to be free. This is the moment that she accepts herself as is, Right. She's not looking at her shopping carts or, or her lists on Amazon of all the clothes she's going to wear when she loses the weight or or these fucking health foods in her cupboard or or she's choosing to love herself as she is now. Guys, there's no guarantee we're going to wake up tomorrow. We could all get hit by a bus right now. Well, today, tomorrow, whatever. You know what I mean? There's no guarantee you're going to wake up tomorrow. So why are you holding off on being happy? Damn it. And I think that's that's the realization that you just had here recently. And that's why you're choosing to shake things up to be the plot twist. Because it's time for you to be happy again. It's time for you to be in that ten of cups. This is your true home, by the way. For those of you that don't know Aquarius, like... Aquarius is known as the one that is, um, what do they say? Aquarius letting their freak flag fly. You know, they choose to be themselves. They choose to be goofy and wild and, and loud sometimes. And But they are the fucking party, man. You can't deny it. They show up. Now it's going to be a good time. Now it's a reunion. Now it's a party, right? Now the party's here. I think you're finally having that same effect um, on yourself. You've had this effect with others for so long, but you're you're finally feeling it yourself. Does that make sense? I love this. This is so deeply personal. And it's so self-validating. Like this is where true confidence is born. I am definitely getting Phoenix energy. Three of Wands. Yeah, see, you have you have this realization you're like I don't have to wait for the future I can have it now because what is was and will be always is was and will be just because you don't have some form of success yet doesn't mean that you can't feel it now yes you fucking can <laughs> you know yes you can oh there it is again si se puede si se puede Ten of Pentacles. Oh my gosh. That's that legacy energy. That's the, the forever energy. This is the family, the forever home. Didn't I just say that this is home for you? Like this is where you're most comfortable is when you can express yourself and be yourself. And you're not used to hiding you're not used to having an intense environment to the point where you can't be yourself you can't express yourself you're not sharing your feelings you're not being honest with the people around you and that's so very much not like you at all so I'm really 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 glad that you have been able to find yourself again and I am even more thrilled to see that you are feeling the power of your presence, just like everybody else has. It's this beautiful 
symmetry that life sometimes has with us I can't explain it other than to say what I've already said like I can't put it in any other words but it is deserving of so many words I just I can't articulate them maybe they haven't been invented yet it's such a powerfully magic thing though to go through this to be able to finally feel Not everybody can do this. Not everybody has this ability within them to, to really truly step outside of themselves and see themselves and feel what everybody else feels. Movement of wands. Yeah, you move different, but that's just it. This movement is what's awakening you and your creativity, which is your spirit. You are the creative one of the bunch. You know? You are the unique one. You are the different one. You are the one that talks directly to the divine. Especially my aqua risings. If you have aqua rising, it's right there in your birth chart. A.K.A. the physical form of your spiritual Akashic records, right? You speak directly to the divine. Everybody can. You're simply born with it. You didn't have to learn how to do it. You didn't have to research and you've been doing it this whole time. I'm being told to tell you, shh, and if you know, you know. The Ace of Pentacles. You're being rem reminded that you are the gift. I feel like something happened that took you outside of yourself. I feel like you may have been in a slump. You may have been in a funk or you may have been in a straight up depression. I'm so happy that you're coming back because I feel like the world hasn't been the same since you've been gone. This is so emotionally charged, y'all. You're going to have to carve some time out of your day and grab some tissues because, yeah. <laughs> You are the star. You are the gift. You are the reason. You are the purpose. You. <sighs> Look at who you just defeated. Oh, this fucker had a hold of your ankle for a minute too, didn't he? But you finally, <laughs> you finally took your other foot and kicked him right in the face. Pew. And you're setting yourself free. Ah, on that note. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's beautiful. The hangman right after that. You're back to being yourself. You're back to being in your safe, right position. That is the bat's home. <laughs> you know? The darkness has run back to their caves in the darkness and in the hiding and the bullshit like that. But you are free. It's crazy because in most decks, the devil has two people on a chain, right? Like they're chained to him. And it literally says, I unleash myself. I unleash and set free. <laughs> I'm so fucking happy for you. Welcome home, Aqua. Welcome home. I'm going to leave this right here. The only cards that came out were Aquarius and Sagittarius. Technically, the Ace of Pentacles could be any Earth sign, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I really just think that this is you making this physical reality. Like, this is happening in the physical reality. Like you're physically crying, you're you're physically making the changes, you're physically moving, you're you know. 
And for some of you, you are physically accepting. Accepting your physical. Yeah. Anyways, I love you guys so freaking much. And I will see you in the next one. Okay? Until then, stay beautiful.